What's up boys? I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for joining me. Now it is all the hot today, so there is a fan going in the background. I do apologize for that, but uh, today we are dipping the wheels a completely different color. Now I had planned on painting them, but we just don't have enough time right now. There was a whole having to replace the hub thing and then there'll be a video about that later on. But uh, ran out of time, so we're gonna go black. Now I know some of you, ooh, murdered out, that's basic bitch. I think it's pretty cool and it's gonna go with the color that we are dipping it later this week. Hopefully. Every time I plan on something, something horrible happens, so we're just gonna Hope that we can dip the whole car later this week. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna add a custom little touch to the wheel. Um, now I think it's kinda cool. Some of you guys are probably gonna think it's cheese ball, but whatever, you guys can tell me in the comments below. But as you guys can see, I've got the car up off the ground in the gasser stance. That's what it looks like when I come out of the whole shot. Front end's all, no, I'm just kidding. I can't get traction for shit. But as you guys can see, if you're new to the channel, wheels are gold we're gonna go ahead and get them off and start peeling hopefully it comes off nicely I'll show you guys what to do if it doesn't come off nicely but uh, hopefully it doesn't come to that I didn't shoot him the guy that had the car before me did so hopefully he did enough coats also you don't have to remove the wheel like the wheel and tire to spray them gotta get back Ugh. so you can see you can take plastic or whatever you want to do and put it behind the wheel and cover up the brakes and all that shit. I like to take the wheel off and then just not have to deal with all that. Plus we got to take the dip off so it's just better to pull them off and I like spraying with the wheels off the car anyway. So we should be able to start at one point and be able to peel the whole thing off preferably all at once but that is probably not going to happen. I don't know. I. Don't really have much faith in the guy that had the car before me after I've seen some of the things that have been done to it. But let's see here. Now I can't say too much though because the first time I dipped the wheels on the Silverado, way back when, it didn't, they didn't come off well. Now, I don't know if you guys can see, but, or could see, probably still can't until we get it focused, there we go. You can kind of see that there's sand scratch, so I don't know if he tried half-ass scuffing these and then realized it was too much work after he curbed the shit out of them right there. But yeah, painting chrome doesn't really go that good. I mean, it can be done, but it's a nightmare to try and prep, so I'm really glad that we're just going to go ahead and dip these. And these are definitely going to be the track day wheels for sure. But I'm going to go ahead and get removing all the rest of these and then we can start spraying. I'll show you guys a quick little bit of prep. Also, if it would have been too much of a nightmare, uh, Plasti Dip does have stuff, I think it's called Dip Release. But also, you can get yourself some Goo Gone, spray it on there, let it sit for a while, and then if you have a pressure washer, blast it or just try and peel it off. Like it takes a while. I've had to do it before, but Goo Gone does work if you can't get it off. I'm so glad that it went that well. Gold? Not gold. So for the most part, I've got it off. There's still some down in here that was a little too thin, so I shot some Goo Gone on there. It's soaking up right now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe that off. And what I'm gonna use for prep is the pre-dip spray it comes in the wheel kits or the car kit it comes in everything that they sell so if you get a kit if you don't have that you can go ahead and just use dish soap anything that will get the waxes off and grease it's just a good wax and grease remover so just use dish soap i'm gonna end up taping around the wheel i'm gonna use some blue masking tape now you can use index cards or you can go ahead and just spray on the tire itself. They have like a dip release that comes in the kit and you kind of put that on the tire itself and then after each time you spray the wheel, you spray around on it and then you can just peel it off. 
So I jumped the gun a little bit on you guys. I do apologize. Um, I know most of you guys are just going to skip to the end anyway to see what they look like. But uh, what I ended up doing was I couldn't get the masking tape to stick to the tire. Like I tried my best to get all that tire shine off and it just wasn't happening. So thankfully I had some extra dip release from my gold kit that I used on the truck. So I went ahead and put that on there. But this is actually the second coat. You just want enough especially on the first coat just kind of missed it you just want enough of a base for it to bond to really well you get like a sweet night chrome effect ish but also you guys want to have it at at least a 45 degree angle if not completely upright just so that the can's not spitting all over the place it just helps you out. I've shot it both ways, so it doesn't really matter. It's just if it's laying down, it's a little more difficult to get a good finish. Here we are, boys. They are done. Well, they're still setting up a little bit, but this is basically what they're going to look like. Now, once I put the dip coat on, they're going to they're gonna darken up a little bit more and get a little smoother, so that'll help it out quite a bit. There's the center caps. Then I got new lug nuts, cause I hated the stock ones. But yeah, these will do. I'm pretty happy with them. I know it's just standard black, but they'll go with the color that we're dipping the car. I think pretty well. Also, this will be good until I find the wheels that I really want. I've yet to decide on those. But while I was waiting for those to cure, I was actually trying to make a video on installing the Lipkin side skirts that I got. But the front lip doesn't even want to try to line up at all. It's pretty warped. Uh, driver's side side skirt works a little bit. Passenger side, not at all. It's, it's off. I was looking it up and apparently that's kind of a thing they've had issues with. So I don't really want to say who it's from yet. Um, I don't want to put them on blast. Hopefully tomorrow they'll give me some good news on possibly reimbursing me or trading out for some better ones. But I really just wanted to get those tests fitted on before dipping the car. Because it might be a bit of a pain getting them on. So here's the part I was talking about earlier. I am both excited and nervous. Plus I hope it's lined up because he did not cut these straight. <laughs> that actually looks pretty sweet. I am actually really happy with how that came out. Not too bad at all. Oh, that's awesome. So now you can get Corvette decals for your wheels. So I had a buddy of mine, Carveth is my last name if you're new to the channel, I had him do my last name in Corvette text. I think that came out awesome. Now I do wish that the E and the T and the H were all connected to make it look more like the C6, but that is good enough for now. I am happy with that. Now they're not just black wheels, they got a little bit more done to them. I know it's not super custom, but I am pretty happy with that. Oh, that is awesome. All right, I'm gonna get that on the rest of them. And here we go, got it outside. Now I know it's getting pretty dark and the wind's blowing. I just wanted to give you guys a pretty good idea of what it looks like. Get a close up on that. I'm actually really happy with that decal. It might be cheesy, but I kind of dig it. The wheels didn't come out too bad either. Let me know what you guys think of the decal. I don't know, I think it helps just kind of, I wouldn't say elevate, but makes the stock wheels look a little cooler. Also, do you guys like the black more than the gold or do you, did you guys like the gold? Like I said, I did like the gold, it was just kind of, I was getting a little over it. And it's definitely not going to work with the color that I'm dipping it later. I need to paint those calipers now. I'm probably going to do the calipers red. 
But just wanted to give you guys a decent idea of what it looks like. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great night.